Hey, it's Totally Cody here, back with another TV show reaction, and today we're going to be continuing our journey on to The Big Bang Theory with Part 3 of Season 2. Now, I don't know how many parts we're going to have to do for this season, because this season is definitely more episodes than the first season, and I think every season from now on is going to be like that, in the 20s or so range, um, so... We're going to be doing that, but you know what? I'm here for it. I love this show. It's hilarious. I think it's the funniest show that I've ever seen. And honestly, this is the first show that I've had so much like positive feedback from you guys on. And you guys are so supportive of this show. So this show is actually all from you guys. Like You are the ones that are showing your support, basically telling me I want more, and I'm here to give it to you. I really am. I, I love this show. I think this is a great show. We're going to be on this journey for probably six months. I projected this out. If we do two to three videos of Big Bang Theory a week, it's going to take quite a while. It's going to be till almost summertime next year. So I'm here for it, though. And you guys are the ones that are really driving it. And I'm so appreciative that you guys enjoy this show because it doesn't. If you guys haven't noticed, I have a really bad streak of quitting on shows partway through or halfway through and it's because there's no views behind it so I didn't want to you know I want to be transparent with you guys I wanted to enjoy shows on my own because it felt like people didn't want to watch it and that's why I stopped the way that I did with Obi-Wan Kenobi with Loki with um Heartstopper I finished because I was like you know what I'm determined to do it but with Squid Game I did the same thing the last three episodes of the first season of Squid Game, though, are on my Patreon. If you guys didn't know, that is where you can find that. And they are the full-length reaction. No watermark, no ads, none of that stuff. But Big Bang Theory means a lot to me right now because it's just so funny. It gets me a chance to escape reality for an hour or two and just go into a funny world of scientists trying to be normal and showing who they are as well as Penny. Penny's one of my favorite characters, okay? Penny and Sheldon's relationship slash friendship, I should say, is like one of my favorite things right now because it's just so awkward dynamic that it's great, it works. But I'm doing enough rambling, so if you guys would like to watch my full-length reaction to The Big Bang Theory on Patreon, go ahead and look for the link down in the description of this video, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining me, and now it's time to sit back, relax, and watch a TV show together. Let's continue our journey on to The Big Bang Theory. Time. All right, Klingons, pencils down. Klingons? Wait, what did I miss? Okay, what are we, what are we doing? Got it. Hold on a second. Kreplach? Yeah. Isn't Klingon, it's Yiddish for meatful dumpling. <laughs> well, as it turns out, it's also a Klingon word. Really? Define it. Kreplach, a hearty Klingon dumpling. Wow. Did you pay your cable bill? sound just like the cable company. Oh my god. Right, so <laughs> well, there's the answer. Pick someone off America's next top model. Here, uh, don't tell her. You're playing Klingon Boggle. Oh. <laughs> what do you mean, all? Oh, like she didn't know. He told her not to tell her, and he told her anyway. All right, Boggle Warriors. So it's Boggle. <laughs> okay, got it. <laughs> Why are we watching Tyra Banks right now? What a coincidence. It's the future Mrs. Wallowitz. Yeah, and they can all move in with you and your mother. <laughs> the current Mrs. Wallowitz. <laughs> that was good. House where? I don't know. Somewhere in L.A.? Wait, oh, no. Is that what this episode's going to be about? Is he going to find them? Please, somebody alert the women that this is what happens. Oh, no. No. Howard, no. Models? No. Yeah, I guess. And they live together and shower together and... <laughs> then nearly 14 billion years ago, expansion started. Wait, the earth began to cool, the autotrophs began to drool, Neanderthals to... It all started with a big bang. Hey! Jazz fingers. Lucky for her, I like my fashion models pruny and bug-eyed. Oh my god, stop. stop. And food's here. <laughs> There's the house. Feast me. They're gonna try and find it? This is not okay. Hey, I thought we, we were kidding. Marking the star positions and physical landmarks so we can find the house of the supermodels. Did you protest? Yes. Vociferously? No. Well, then what took you so long? <laughs> <laughs> Just eat. <laughs> hey guys, what I miss, what I miss. Hey, you know what though? Sheldon's concerned about how long it takes to get food. I feel that because I'm the same way. You and 
I have a standing TV schedule, which is the result of extensive debate and compromise. Now, any alterations, except for breaking news, have to be pre-approved at the weekly roommate meeting. Oh my God, you have a weekly roommate put meeting? It on the agenda. It's one onion Just ring. Just put it back before he comes. Oh my God. No, 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 I don't think that's where it was. Okay, here he comes, deny, 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 the wall of silence. Oh no. Who touched Penny, my Penny, Penny did it. <laughs> They sold her out. Why would you do that? I don't know. I was hungry. What's the big deal? The big deal is that nobody touches food on my plate. You have two strikes. <laughs> Three strikes and you're out. What is? What was the first one? It's a sports metaphor. <laughs> a sports metaphor. Yes, baseball. Yeah, I'll, I'll play along. What was my first strike? March See? 18th. You violated my rule about forwarding email humor. <laughs> Did? The photo of the cat who wants to has cheeseburger. They're cute and they can't spell because they're cats. <laughs> I trusted you with my email address and you betrayed that trust by sending me internet banality. Strike one. Wow. I'm surprised you didn't say strike three was sitting on the couch. For a year. You can get them removed early, but you have to take his class. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Honey, the buses don't go where you live, do they? <laughs> oh my God. Honey, I wish I could be more lenient with you, but since you've become a permanent member of our social group, I have to hold you to the same standards as everybody else. Officially one of us. <laughs> one of us, one of us. Oh, he's actually doing it. <laughs> oh, what a thrill. Is that where that comes from? Because I've been doing that for years and that's because friends were doing it. So I didn't know that he did that. Here's the thing. After you leave, I still have to live with him. <laughs> I don't care. I'm taking a stand. Oh, no. Not a stand. Yeah, you're kind of sitting right. in a seat now. That's it. Strike three. Ooh, strike three. Would you be open to taking his class? <laughs> <laughs> you can do it online. <laughs> It's an online class about Sheldon. I'll do that. To do what? Party with the pretty girls, dude. Are you the, insane? You're not. The assumption that the pretty girls want to play with them or party with them. Why did I say play? You know what I was trying to say. The assumption that they want to do that is pretty, uh, pretty. Yeah. You know where I'm going with that. You forgot my barbecue bacon cheeseburger, barbecue sauce, bacon and cheese on the side. I didn't tell you, you're banished from the Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> Here we go. But one coming in, two sitting down, and three, I don't like your attitude. You can't do that. Not only is it a violation of California state law, it flies directly in the face of Cheesecake Factory policy. No shoes, no shirt, no shell down. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That sign all over Pasadena. <laughs> that was a good one. Honey, can I talk to you for a minute? Uh-huh that he was unreasonable and out of line. Really? Well, that's great. Yeah. Well, just apologize to him, okay? What? I'm not gonna apologize to that nutcase. Okay. If you guys keep going along with his insanity, you're just encouraging him. We're not encouraging, Literally. it's more like... Enabling. Under. Look, I like hanging out with you guys, but I'm not gonna apologize for something I didn't do. That's strike one, Leonard. Oh my God. <laughs> there you go, quesadilla. I love Penny so much. Like, this is why I love her. Go ahead, eat it. Uh-oh. Why? What happened? I dare you. What did she do? <laughs> you can recognize people on Google Earth? Of course not. I got a buddy of mine at NORAD to have a spy drone fly over. <laughs> NORAD? You're using military aircraft? Okay, where is he? Sheldon, I just dropped him off at the comic book oh, store. Oh, no. Did he yeah, leave a review? Online. Problem with the Wi-Fi? No, just try. Greetings, hamburger toucher. <laughs> <laughs> you are probably wondering why you cannot IM with your little friends about how much you heart various things. <laughs> or you may apologize to me. Oh my god, this is like, wow, <laughs> not the smile. <laughs> I reiterate, knuckle under. This is really, really big warfare now. I can get you back online. There, see? Problem solved. Voila. Hello, puny insects. Oh my god. Everyone is awarded one additional strike. Wow. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Howard. 
What are you complaining about? I'm the one who has to take the class again. Oh, God. Sheldon, you're gonna get hurt. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Time to do your laundry, huh? What, what are you, you doing, implying? Penny? I'm implying that you're a creature of habit. And if something were to prevent you from doing your laundry on Saturday at 8.15, you might find it... Unpleasant. What did you do, you monster? No. Okay. We crossed the boundary. You can't mess with laundry. Okay? You cannot mess with laundry. Oh, no. <laughs> what are you gonna do? It's all her clothes, isn't it? No problem. I'll just do my laundry another night. Another oh, God. night? Woman, you are playing with forces beyond your Ken. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, well, your Ken can kiss my Barbie. Oh my god. <laughs> Where are my clothes? Your clothes? Yes, I left them in the washers, and when I went down to get them, they were gone. Really? Okay. Despite the sign that says, do not leave laundry unattended, I do recall seeing some female undergarments. Where was that? Oh, yes. Earlier this evening... I happened to gaze out the window, and a brazier caught my eye. What the hell did you get up on that telephone wire? When you understand the laws of physics, Penny, anything is possible. <laughs> and now, you know Sheldon's serious, because he doesn't like to touch anybody's clothes or anything like that, because he feels like it's germ-infested. So, I'm so confused as to why they did this to him. He is, like, uh, beyond our control at this point. This has gotten way out of hand. Okay, I've done some stupid things. You've done some stupid things. How about we just call it even and move yes. on with our lives? I've done no stupid things. Uh, look, you've got to meet me halfway here. I am meeting you halfway. I'm willing to concede that you've done some stupid things. Well, now it's Junior Rodeo on. Yeah, she's going to castrate him. Oh, oh no. no. Not Junior Rodeo. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? I had no choice, Leonard. She ruined laundry night. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. <laughs> oh no. What is that? Here. Oh no. What's this? What's happening? Sheldon's kryptonite. Oh my god. Oh my god. The betrayal. What is it? It'll shorten the war by five years and save millions of lives. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, pause it. That's it. Con Flights and robot aircraft to find a house full of gorgeous young models so that I can drop in on them unexpectedly. Then fine, I'm creepy. Yeah, that's a little creepy. You don't see that as creepy? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Hi, Mom. How are you? But Mom... She called she her keeps sitting in my spot. She called his mom. Yes, I took her clothes, but she started it. No, that's not fair. <laughs> oh no. Why should I have to apologize? All right. Goodbye. <laughs> oh no. Did you tell on me? Are you kidding me? I already have two strikes. <laughs> Oh, no. Penny. No. Penny. Not the soft, not the soft one. <laughs> and you are no longer banished. Can I sit wherever I want? Oh, no. No, no. no. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. That's, that's, that's not important. Yes. Oh, no. Well played. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Just remember, with great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> oh god <laughs> oh god oh no they're here okay come on in oh no they're all so much taller than them she's taller than all the women in my family combined yeah hey i'm short too so i get it follow mrs wallowitz <laughs> Deep Space Nine better than Saturn Three. Uh oh. Simple subtraction would tell you it's six better. 
compromise. Watch Babylon 5. Rock, paper, scissors. Ew, I don't think so. No. Anecdotal evidence suggests that in a game of rock, paper, scissors, players familiar with each other will tie 75 to 80% of the time due to the limited number of outcomes. Rock, paper, scissors, lizard, Spock. <laughs> what? what is that? It's very simple. Rock crushes lizard, lizard poisons Spock. Oh Spock my God. smashes scissors, scissors decapitates lizard, lizard eats paper, paper disproves Spock, Spock vaporizes rock, and as it always has, rock crushes scissors. You know, that actually made sense, I'm okay, not gonna man. lie. Rock, paper, scissors, lizard, Spock. <laughs> what is he wearing? Looking like a bootleg Hello, Elton boys. John. Ahoy, matey. Notice the eye patch, did you? A uh, visual display designed to make yourself visual display, and huh? Like you can't see? Oh, yes, <laughs> like the baboon with engorged hindquarters. <laughs> or in yep. this case, the bar mitzvah boy with pink eye. <laughs> Mock me if you will, but it works. You Normally, I'm not turned on by big teeth, but on you, they work. <laughs> No, abort mission, abort mission. I am gay, and I still know that that's not what you say to women, okay? Step one, she notices the eye patch. Not in a good way. May I say, Penny, not a lot of women could look as hot as you do with such greasy hair. Oh my god. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah, just move your stupid scooter before I pick it up and throw it in the dumpster. That was the appropriate response. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna trademark that dance. <laughs> the Clone Wars TV series until I've seen the Clone Wars movie. You know what? Me too. I haven't seen either of them. Lucas disappoint me in the order he intended. <laughs> Every Star Wars fan right there in one sentence. Hey, Howard. Oh, no. What's wrong? What did Howard do? Uh, okay. Okay, we'll be right there. What happened? Howard's at the Mars Rover Lab. He says he's in trouble. That's on five. Yeah, Star Trek five, worse than one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first of all, that's a comparison of quality, <laughs> not intensity. Secondly, Star Trek one is orders of magnitude worse than Star Trek five. Here we go. I've actually never seen Star Trek. Uh, I was thinking about doing the new movies that they made because I think it's like a remake or something like that. Can we just forget I said DEF CON and go? Star Trek V. Yeah, why is oh, Howard in trouble? At least stipulate that Star Trek I have three words for you. Wrath of Khan. Oh, thank God you're here. What's the emergency? I got the Mars rover stuck in a ditch. Where? What? One free barium enema and my mother won't care she's not Jewish. <laughs> Wait a minute, so the eye patch and the insults worked? No, there were three other guys with eye patches. It was a fiasco. So what exactly do you want us to do? I need you and Raj to help me get the rover out of the ditch, and I need you to get Stephanie out before somebody notices she's here. She doesn't exactly have clearance. Really? They don't let strange women from honky-tonks come in and play with $200 million <laughs> government projects on distant planets? Howard, you know, it's getting late, so do I get to drive this thing or what? Yeah, no, I'm sorry, but something's come up. Kind of a Mars rover... Mars rover, can Howard come over? <laughs> what? Oh my god! Leonard! Sorry. I totally interrupted you. What, what, what were you saying? Just that Howard's a terrific guy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> got... I really like that you're such a loyal friend. Yeah, I am loyal. You know, if you look at the big picture. <laughs> Are you insane? The guy was wearing an eye patch. <laughs> then why did you... He said that I could drive a car on Mars. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. Oh, I would kill for a recording room Anything? that looked like this. Actually, I was just checking my email. <laughs> but, uh, nope, the rover is not responding. I tried calling AAA. <laughs> but based on, on Mars? Data <laughs> timetable, they won't get there for 35 years. <laughs> Plus, I understand you have to be standing next to the vehicle with your card when they arrive. ...and states that due to the loss of data, they will most likely be oh. unable to determine the cause of the Mars rover's malfunction. Uh-oh. Thank God for plan B. Howard, didn't you say you worked on the Mars rover? 
No, you're mistaken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when we first met, you said that if I went out with you, I could drive a car on Mars. Oh my God. No, yeah, I remember specifically. I mean, you started by Penny, just if stop I while you're ahead, Mars please. Because my ass was out of this world. <laughs> <laughs> well, that does sound like me, but no. I have to kind of sneak out for a while. All right, goodbye. No, wait. Yeah. <laughs> if anyone asks you where I went, you don't know. Where are you going? I can't tell you that. Well then, well, who would ask me? Leonard, a moment. What? If someone, and of course we don't know who this would be, does ask where you've gone, what should I say? I don't know, just tell him I went to the office. Are you going to the office? No. Well then how can I say it convincing? Leonard went to the office. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? What is it? No, not like that. Just Leonard went to the office. I'm going out for a while. Okay. Nobody cares, Letter. Just go. <laughs> Sheldon's all <laughs> beside himself now. Doesn't anyone want to know where he's going? <laughs> Leonard is going to the office. <laughs> What's with the hand gesture? What is this? Like, what is this, Romeo and Juliet? Thou art going to the office. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> I removed an appendix, a gallbladder, and about a foot and a half of bowel. Well, I'm hoping that was three different guys. <laughs> no, just the one. Oh my God. He didn't make it. You know, I'm a physicist, so I thought about stuff. I thought about stuff. That's it? Well, I wrote some of it down. <laughs> oh, good. Oh my God. And how are they done really eating? There's like all this food on their pool. plate. <laughs> hey, Steph, it's me again, Howard. Listen, if you're free Friday, maybe we could have a little something to eat at my place. My mom cooks a hell of a brisket. Here we go with the brisket again. <laughs> Is it Howard again? Dr. Stephanie Barnett. Leave a message. Hey, it's me again. <laughs> Just... Okay, call me. It's Howard. <laughs> Don't you think we should tell him you're not interested? Do you want me to stop and call him back right now? Hey, it's me again, Howard. <laughs> Listen, my cousins from Fort Lauderdale are flying in to meet you, so that means we're going to have to move the dinner to a restaurant. What in the world? I'll call you back when we firm up the details. <laughs> it's Howard. It's Howard. <laughs> This poor guy doesn't even know, and it's like, it's sad. Who's the girl? <laughs> I'm sorry? Well, last time you bought a new shirt was when we were dating. Mm. So, oh, what we did was, in fact, dating. Do me a favor, tell Kuthra Polly that next time you see him. <laughs> so, who is she? Oh, she's a doctor. Oh, nice. A doctor doctor, or are you kind of doctor? <laughs> <laughs> doctor doctor. If your friend thinks he's dating someone, but he's not, because in fact you're dating her, does that make you a bad person? Well, that depends. On what? Is that friend Wallowitz? <laughs> <laughs> Have you slept with her yet? Yeah. You dog! <laughs> Good for it was you! The, it was the smile. That was what? That was great. <laughs> Uh-oh. Are we ever going to meet this mom? What do you do when someone knocks? Thank you. I had no idea. <laughs> I need to talk to you about something. Oh, Mentito. Yellow. Oh, Stephanie. Thanks for calling me back. I was worried. Yeah, that's the, that's uh -huh. the heartbreak. Uh-huh. Right there. Uh-huh. No, I understand. Sure. You are dead to me. Wow. Oh, she told him about... She told him about Leonard. Oh, no. Okay, who gets the extra dumpling? Okay, one of us is going to have to stop putting up Spock. How do we decide that? Rock, paper, scissors, scissors, Spock! <laughs> ah! Hi, Howard. <laughs> Howard? Shelton. 
Howard is employing a schoolyard paradigm in which you are, for all intents and purposes, deceased. Yes. <laughs> Did someone just feel a cold breeze? I believe this is an extension of the death metaphor. <laughs> a cold breeze is a so-called ectoplasmic issue of a disembodied soul passing by. Oh no, is it her? Oh, hi, hey. Steph. Uh, here, come on in. Oh, is this a bad time? Yeah, but I don't see a better one on the horizon, so. <laughs> Oh, if it isn't Mrs. Dead to me. Oh my God. Uh, Hello, Howard. He just won't listen to me. Okay, well, I guess it'll just be the three of us then. Yeah. Lisa's gonna be disappointed. Yeah. Lisa? <laughs> yeah, my roommate. She just went through a really bad breakup and I thought she might like to meet somebody fun like you. You're alive, it's a miracle. That was, wow. So anyway, Lisa, I just wanted to tell you again how much I enjoyed the other night. And again, I'm sorry for how it ended. Oh my God. Anyway, call me. It's Howard. It's unclear how the Mars rover got into the crevice, but one thing certain. Oh no. The data which it has sent back contain the first clear indications that there may have been life on Mars. Oh. We'll never know who's responsible. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Howard! <laughs> Discovered aliens! Hey, Sheldon. What is shaking? <laughs> I'm sorry? It's colloquial, a conversation opener. <laughs> are you currently sharing in the triumph of some local sports team? What is Sheldon doing right now? Like, why are we trying to? What's wrong this? with you? You're freaking yeah. me out. <laughs> I'm striking up a casual conversation with you. But I'm given to understand that when you have something awkward to discuss with someone, it's more palatable to preface it with banal chit-chat. So this wasn't the awkward part? Hey, you're aware that Leonard has entered into a new romantic relationship, which includes a sexual component? Yeah, I would assume so. Okay, I'm feeling the awkward now. With, and she's a highly distinguished surgical resident at Fremont Memorial. Yeah, oh, this is a continued storyline? I thought maybe that they were only going to have her for one episode. This relationship is to me. Of the handful of women Leonard's been involved with, she's the only one I have ever found tolerable. Oh my God. You just said Penny's not tolerable. Well, what about me? The statement stands for itself. <laughs> Aren't you sweet? And he starts the episode with a zigger. <laughs> it would be most helpful that she not see you as a sexual rival. Well. Yeah, I think she's pretty safe. You say that now, but consider the following scenario. Even Leonard seems like a viable sexual candidate. Oh my God. Why, uh, why are people knocking on Leonard? He is not, not, he is a very attractive person. Like he's not unattractive. So I don't know why they're playing that picture. Always nice talking to you, Sheldon. Peace out. <laughs> Our whole universe was in a hot, dense tree that all started with a big bang. Why are the three of them meeting together? Well, this is very pleasant. <laughs> Italian housewives have a rule of thumb. A handful of dry pasta, about an inch in diameter, is sufficient for each person as it doubles in volume when cooked. Guess I'll just have to pick it up. <clears throat> <laughs> Where are you going to do with it? Like, what's, what's happening here? What's your favorite fruit? Uh, <laughs> strawberries. Mm, technically not a fruit, but all right. <laughs> How is that not a fruit? Where did you do your medical internship? You're kidding! I spent so much of my childhood at that hospital. It, it, when I was 12, I got to ride there in a helicopter. What? What, what, what happened? Radiation burn. Briefly able to see the inside of my sister's guinea pig, Snowball, before he caught fire. Oh my god. It led to an interesting expression in our house. It, not a snowball's chance in a CAT scanner. The subject will be alternative history. It, specifically, how would the Civil War have gone differently if Lincoln had been a robot sent from the future? Oh my God. You've been in a foul mood since I sat down. It wasn't supposed to include you. Oh my God, why am I talking okay, to him? Here's my question. Why did you sit down? What landing party? <laughs> You're Kirk. I'm Spock. Wallowitz is Scotty. Kuzma okay. is the guy who always gets killed. <laughs> <laughs> and 
and now we've got McCoy. We're all standing around looking at the post-op x-ray, and there it is, clear as day, right in the guy's chest cavity, one of my earrings. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. What? I have a bone to pick with you, sir. Oh. Hi, Sheldon. Hi, Stephanie. I'm sorry I'm late, but your companion left the most indecipherable invitation. <laughs> um. What invitation? If you were trying to make it impossible to locate you, you couldn't have done a better job. Oh, clearly I could have. <laughs> it took me nearly 20 minutes to go through the browser history on your computer to see what movie times you looked up. Oh, no, we have seats. Not the right seats. <laughs> ha! <laughs> what did he just do? <laughs> Why? <Ha>. Why? <laughs> Doing? The acoustics. Finding the acoustic sweet spot. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Does he always Fun fact, my favorite seats in the theater is always in the middle row, in the middle of that row, because you want to be able to sit right in the middle of the theater in where the screen is. Fine, you know, sweet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. My apologies, you've been sitting in it all along. Let <laughs> me slide over one. <laughs> Not the smile. Oh yeah, this is it. <laughs> Tell me what you see here. The blunt instrument that will be the focus of my murder trial. <laughs> <laughs> this is Stephanie's Facebook page. Now where it should say in a relationship, what does it say? Stephanie Barnett is single. Yeah. Who's Mike? Why does he get a digital sheep and not you? Uh, it's just her Facebook page, and we've only been going out a couple of weeks. You don't see it, do you? We're losing her. I'm gonna make this very simple for you. You are not in this relationship. I am. Ergo, <laughs> you have no say. I'm afraid I can't allow that. <laughs> Pursuant to Starfleet General Order 104, Section A, you are deemed unfit, and I hereby relieve you of your command. Oh my god. You just hijack his relationship? One good reason why not. Because this is not Star Trek! <laughs> Penny. 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 <laughs> It's my understanding that an unsolicited gift of food can be a precursor to an impromptu invitation to come in and chat. Sheldon, would you like to come in? Were you robbed? <laughs> oh my god! No. How can you be sure? <laughs> Sheldon, what do you want? Leonard is failing in yet another relationship. Oh my God! Problems with Stephanie? She's sending virtual livestock to random men on the internet. I don't see how that's a if problem. If I have any hope of keeping them together, I need data, specifically Cap and his buttocks. What? Again, urban slang. In which I believe I'm getting remarkable. Nobody fluency. uses that word. We were young. We were very much in love, but we could only communicate through a time traveling mailbox at my lake house. Isn't that um? I know that I know that movie. What what I don't remember the title. Even are you mock me with it? <laughs> I know I know that movie. I've seen it. I just don't I remember the name of it. Question about dating and relationships. You told me you were going to have the talk with him. <laughs> I've been waiting for someone to have the talk with me. <laughs> More to the point, it's about finding a way to keep Leonard and Stephanie together. Two booty calls with Leslie Winkle, for which she awarded him the nickname Speed of Light Leonard. <laughs> and a three-hour dinner with Penny. Which would have been two and a half if they ordered the souffle when they sat down. The issue remains. <laughs> How do we circumvent his inevitable rejection? Well, if you want to guarantee his appeal to Stephanie, your best bet would be to kill all the other men on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all you've got, apocalyptic genocide and go easy on the cologne? That sounds like enough to me. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Penny. Pandy. What? Another banana bread? Penny. <laughs> Zucchini bread. Oh, thank you. May I come in? No. Yeah. <laughs> I see. What? I've been doing some research online. And Why? Female primates, you know, uh, apes, chimpanzees, you. 
intensified when the rival female is secreting the pheromones associated with ovulation, which brings me back to my question. Yeah, bye. <laughs> Sheldon means well. <laughs> Sheldon means well, but he, he really just did that. You're gonna have to let this go. You had a little cheese dip, you farted. I thought it was cute. <laughs> oh, hi, Stephanie. Hi. Anywhere tonight? Hmm. What the hell? <laughs> what are you doing? I have a craving for white asparagus that apparently is destined to go unsatisfied. <laughs> He's not turning the lid. I'm helping you with Stephanie. By making constipated moose sounds? <laughs> when I fail to open this jar and you succeed, it will establish you as the alpha male. You see, this will create the biochemical reaction in the brain, which later- He doesn't need your help with that. Oh my God. <laughs> Sheldon, you are huh. dismantling the relationship. Go ahead, it's pretty loosened. <laughs> Is it? Oh my god, he can't open it. See, this right here is why I use a shirt. If I can't open it, I just use a shirt. You want some help with that? No, no, no. I got it. No, yeah, yeah, he's got it. And my role is the beta male. <laughs> the open beta it. male. Oh! I'm bleeding. Get like a gladiator. <laughs> You're gonna need stitches. Stitches? Mm -hmm. With a needle? Well, yeah, I mean, just a few. Oh, okay. What a beautiful job Stephanie did. <laughs> yeah, I might have gone with a mattress suture instead of a blanket stitch, but you can't argue with her results. <laughs> it's a shame it won't scar. Just for the record, my efforts to establish you as the alpha male were not aided by you bursting into tears. I did not burst into tears. My eyes just got a little watery. D watery? Hey, how's my big cry baby? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't cry. Hey, I'm just teasing you. But yeah, you did. <laughs> all right, it's all good. What do you say we get you home, put you to bed? Vomiting, coitus is contraindicated. Bro. Thank you. <laughs> Shut up, Cooper. Sheldon. <laughs> Welcome, Dr. Hofstadter. <laughs> Can't understand why women have such a hard time loving you. <laughs> Can you open this for me? <laughs> yeah, I don't like looking at stitches. I don't know why. Asking the question once and for all, why Wolowitz bailed out of medical school. Yeah. Oh man, did you switch your status before she did? <laughs> Speaking as an expert, wait a Sheldon look did me. it for her. Sheldon did it for him. Seriously? Sheldon did it for him. First, after only two weeks? That's two weeks? Old. I had no choice. He cried in front of her. No. <laughs> That's bad. You That's bad. You my Facebook account? Oh, it's hardly hacking when you use the same password for everything. He's gonna think I'm desperate. You've destroyed this relationship. And you wanna know the worst part is you don't even understand what you did wrong because you can't conceive of something that you are not an expert in. Uh-oh. Don't wanna hear another word out of you. Uh-oh. <laughs> What's wrong, Lassie? Timmy fall down the well? <laughs> Stephanie Barnett is in a relationship with Leonard Hofstetter. Oh. Really? <laughs> oh, look at that. I have a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Sheldon Cooper, for the win. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's part three of season two for Big Bang Theory, gotta say. <laughs> This just gets better and better. But now Leonard's in a relationship that's not with Penny. But you know what? I'm holding out hope for it. But I am glad to see we're adding some new characters and everything. It's not the same dynamic with the same four people, or five people actually, um, in the show. Because we haven't seen in these three episodes, we didn't see Leslie Winkle. We didn't see really anybody else that was established so far. Um, but I know there's probably a lot more to be gone because we're not even halfway through the season yet. So, it's going to be fun. I can't wait to continue this. So, if you guys would like to watch my full-length reaction to Big Bang Theory on my Patreon, go ahead and look for the link down in the description of this video, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining me, and I will see you all next time. Remember, everybody, stay totally terrific. Bye.